All right, good afternoon. My name is Justin Hicklin. I am a second year here at ATSU Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine and a student ambassador as well. Uh, I attended the University of Nebraska Lincoln where I majored in biochemistry and Spanish. Um, today though is not about me. I am joined by a very special guest, a 1982 graduate of KCOM or Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine. Also our current Dean here at ATSU KCOM and my very good friend, Dr. Margaret Wilson. How are you today, Dr. Wilson? Good, good afternoon, Justin. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm great. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, so today our whole point was to kind of ask you a few questions that maybe people watching that are hoping to attend ATSU or just wanting to learn more information. Maybe they could get more information about our school and, and what makes it so great. So I guess my first question for you is, what are some qualities of ATSU KCOM that make it stand out in your opinion? Wow, that's a good question. Uh, you know, I think we have lots of good qualities that make us stand out. You, you know, one of the first things that always comes up, of course, is that we're the founding school. You know, so we started this profession and it's a really incredible profession and we're so proud of, of our history. But we have a great school. You know, we, we are so, uh, you know, our graduates go on to be so successful. You know, the curriculum is very rigorous, uh, as you well know. But the, the amount of skills and knowledge that our students learn to go on to be successful is quite extraordinary. And, you know, I, get, I hear it a lot when I travel. I hear it from program directors, from CEOs of hospitals, that there's something special about KCOM graduates. And they really, really, uh, you know, like to see them in, in their hospital and clinic systems. There's something special. And they're, uh, they always remark that they're very professional. So I think we add that aspect, too. Um, you know, the other, I think, great quality and, and kind of special thing that we have here is just some extraordinary technology. You know, we have just a fantastic human patient simulation lab and the, the learning and, and the experimentation and practice that goes on up there is really a plus, along with our ultrasound curriculum, which is rather unique and again, add, adds that extra clinical skill. So those are some of the great things I think that we have here that are maybe unique to KSUM. Yeah, I, I mean, being a student here, I think you definitely hit the nail on the head. Like, I talk to friends that are in other programs, and they're like, you guys are already learning ultrasound. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, awesome. So I guess that kind of segues into our next question. Um, is there anything, you know, that, that you found out as dean that you think might surprise incoming students or um, things that they might not know just from reading about the school online? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a lot of things that you can't really know until you're here, right? And you you know that. And I really think it's about the feeling for the, the campus and the people. You know, we have a really uh, strong, uh, you know, community, both within our campus and beyond into this small community that we, we are in. And that really extends from students to faculty to administrators to people in the community, you know, a lot of uh, connections there. And I think it's just a really good place to be. You know, people are very supportive, um, you know, because we are kind of in a small place. You, you get to know people, you know your faculty, you know your classmates. Uh, there's a lot of service projects that students get involved with in the community. So the community gets to know our students too. So I think that uh, it, it may be a surprising just the real connectedness that there is as being part of this campus. Yeah, it's definitely starting to feel like home a little bit for me. It's hard not to call Kansas City my home, but it's starting to feel like a second home. So I definitely, I think that's the kind of general consensus too among people in our class. So that's, that's a great point. Um, so our next question is, um, you know, being a student here, you graduated in 1982. How have you seen the program change to now as your time as our Dean? Um, what, what changes have you seen it make? And then what, maybe what are your hopes for the future of the program? Yeah. You know, um, it's been a while, hasn't it? Since I was a student here, it's been a few years. You know, probably what has changed the most is just kind of the visual things like the facilities. We have, you know, some beautiful new buildings and, uh, you, you know, the campus ha has grown and, and now we have the dental school next door. So kind of that, that has, has definitely uh, changed and grown. And again, the technology piece, you know, back in the Stone Age, when I went to medical school, we didn't have all the cool technology that you all have. We had to practice on real patients as our first experience. That wasn't that long ago, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close. 
Um, so that that part has changed. But I'll tell you really again what hasn't changed is just that that feeling and that camaraderie and and again the the commitment that the faculty and and everyone here has towards the students and the student success and and that you know those friendships and all the uh, relationships that you build and, and you, you gain here while you're a student here. And you'll have those for the rest of your lifetime, for a career. You'll know your classmates, you'll know faculty. You know, you'll be reaching out to them you know, over, over the, the years. And, and we have something special. We call it the Kirksville experience. And, and there's just something special and unique. And until you go through it, you, you don't quite realize what a special time of life this was, regardless of you know, how hard it is just to learn medicine. Yeah, it's tough, but there's definitely, you know, like your friends and and like kind of like you mentioned, you know, those are people that I'm going to definitely be calling up down the road when I need advice on patients and their perspective on, you know, everything. So that's a great point. Um, our last question is, what would your advice be for incoming students that are still early in the process? Yeah, for, for students that are, are looking to apply to uh, osteopathic medical school or looking at schools, you know, try to try to get a sense of what they're about beyond just, you know, the obvious, like what's the curriculum and how many hours of this and where do you do your clinical training? You know, I would suggest reaching out if you can talk to somebody like a student ambassador at a school, someone like you, or, you know, reach out to the admissions team and try to try to get a sense and try to get, feel like, you know, where do I want to spend a few years and, and where would I feel uh, like most, uh, you know, at home and kind of a match for for where I want to do my learning. So, you know, look around, talk to people. Certainly, if you get a chance to visit, you know, please, please come visit us. It's a great place and it's a beautiful campus and you can see all the, the neat things here. Uh, so try to get out there and, and, you know, look at all your options. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you got to find a place that feels like the best match for you moving forward. Awesome. Well, I think that about wraps up all the questions for you. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, but thank you so much, Dean Wilson. Hopefully people were able to learn a little bit. For those watching at home, if you want to learn a little more, we've got some great stories. Uh, you can go to atsu.edu slash news. Um, but that's all we have. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you again, Dean Wilson, for your time. All right. Thank you. Good luck, everybody.